Hey, how's that YouTube? Uh, checking again today to make sure what I'm seeing is correct. I just in uh, installed another 210 inverter right here, which is the third failure. I did that last Friday. Since then, this inverter has gone out. This inverter has gone out. And this one's making 11 watts, which is nothing. And if I run it through for you, you can see what's happening. Soon you'll see power coming in 150 to 200 watts and the one on the bottom like a maximum of 22 watts I think is all it puts out. Everyone that has failed has done the same thing. Then it goes offline and quits reporting. However, I just talked to the people at Enphase and they're sending me three brand new ones up. I already got my, uh, my number and everything so. Got a 100% failure rate on the two tens. But I have a 100% replacement from Enphase, so I guess you can't ask for anything better than that. So, just a quick update. 100% failure on the 210 series, which is probably why they don't make them anymore. These other ones over here, <coughs> these other 10 are the 215s. And I believe it's this one right here is the new uh, 215 with the integrated ground system. And I bought two more for my top point solar panels, these two right here. Uh, the new ones don't, they no longer have a provision to ground the body. They're internally grounded, I guess, and they don't need to be grounded. And so far they're working pretty good. So anyway, that's it, just a quick update. I don't know if anybody else has any 210 inverters from Enphase, and they're probably having a similar story to tell. But customer service, once again, was fantastic. So I'll update it when I get three new inverters to install. So that's it. Talk to you later. Bye.